How's it going, everybody? Oh, up here, playing a horror game called Teeth of Glass. Well, that is a very cool title. And this music is very trippy, too. What the hell is Teeth of Glass? An SCP? A demon, perhaps? Well, let's begin and see what's gonna happen. We've got an elderly male. Very underweight. Age unknown. Gunshot wound to the chest. Also, uh, unknown. What do you mean, unknown? I couldn't find it, but he's breathing. That's impossible. It must be just faint. We gotta get him hooked up to the monitor. We need to operate now. Dr. Hagstrom? Yeah? Are you ready to operate? Yes, preparing to make the first incision. Ew! Ew. <laughs> we get a shot right in the middle of the chest? Oh, okay. Guess I'm cutting him open. Why are there crystals in him? Oh my god. Where's his blood? Never seen anything like it. How is he alive? Put that bullet out of him first, and then, well, let's get the bullet out. What about a shard? He scraped the tweezers in the glassy surface. How could such a thing exist? I don't know. Pull them out. All right. Ew, what is that noise? Inky black blood splashed on my face? It felt both hot and cold. It seemed to work its way past my eyes, across my face, into my nose and mouth. Ew! Oh, then, hell no! I fell into darkness. Dude, that's pretty fucking nasty. Ugh. Poor guy, he just got sprayed in the face with black goo. Uh, okay. Looks like I'm in a regular old office. Dr. Claridge? Blake? What the hell? Where are you? Um, where am I? Surgical tools? There's nothing on the tray. You say so? What about the x-rays? There was no need to take them down. Hmm. Surgical table. I didn't want to wipe down the table until I knew what that substance was. What substance? Liquid residue? I wasn't going to touch it again. It was probably highly toxic. Ew. Toxic residue? Dude. Alright, guy. Well... What do we got written on the board here? Doing some science? I had more important things to do than wipe it down. Okay, true. There was no need to use the cart. What if I wanted some Anastasia? This guy just wants to get Haven't been I got a supply cupboard. Didn't have any reason to go rifling through the cupboard. What the hell is this door? Silent Hill the room, all over again. Why is it always chained up doors? It is creepy. What the the only way out? How the hell did someone chain these doors shut? I don't know, dude. You tell me. What? Okay, we got some bloody handprints. Appeared on the glass of the cupboard. It was a cheap Halloween trick. The kind that Dr. Blake liked to pull. But not at work. Blake, wherever you are, this isn't funny. People are relying on us. This will cost you your job. Are you going to snitch on them? The only answer was the incessant rain. Damn it! <laughs> I looked at the cupboard. Perhaps I had to look inside and play his stupid game to get out of this. He would be gone by tomorrow if I had anything to do with it. Snitching, dude. Alright, what's in here? Bloody hands on the cupboard. There was something at the back of the shelf. I needed to get the bottles out of the way to get to it. What, white tub? Green bottle? A white bottle? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell is that? Did I imagine it? What was that? Little Cthulhu beast? Little monster? Brown ball. Bottle with a key inside. Alright, I'm down with that. If I'm picking up all this shit, do I got a... an inventory? Alright, true. We got acid. We got a silver bullet that we took out of the dead guy. Tweezers. Surgical scalpel. Good to know. Methyl... I can't even pronounce that. Methacrolate? Green liquid. Blue bottle. Play bottle, sealed bottle with key. Sealed bottle with key. Can I examine it? Huh? He was suspended in a bubbling green liquid. The bottle sealed with wire. Well then, fuck you. Can I cut it open? I managed to lever the wires off and get the key out. The scalpel broke in the process. Oh no. Oh, that's fine. Can I use this key on the chains? Can I get out of here? All right, we got one down. I'm okay with that. One chain has been opened. What's changed over- lost. 
All right, true. Does it say anything when I click on it now? Nope. But that changed. The hell? This body's growing back? There's no way I was touching that. Well, it's growing. It got bigger. There's an eyeball up there on the monitor, which looks pretty cool. Okay, well, this guy's growing back. Um, what the fuck is this thing? Ew. Marionette. The marionette was almost life-size and made of carved wood. I couldn't place the style. Maybe it was Middle Eastern. Huh. Wood was beautifully carved and the surface felt as soft as skin. Gross. I don't like that. It has a wooden bowl. Wooden bowl? So do I have to put shit in it? I guess so. I'm assuming it'll tell me I need to do something, right? Um. So, what do we got going on? Okay, well, it's not a dead end anymore. What the fuck is this? Where's my home? I study. Why was it here? What is that music? I like it. Just like a song in reverse? Very strange. It was a photograph of me and Mary on our wedding day. But what happened to our eyes? I don't know. It is pretty creepy looking. Imagine you picked up one of your old pictures and just your eyes were gone in it. That would just confirm that reality isn't real. We live in a simulation. Nah, I'm just kidding. Who knows? That would creep me out, though, if I saw a picture of myself with no eyes. Um, open sesame. A red teardrop gem. But why? What the fuck? Crying ghost? Mary? Crying ghost? Why did I get a gem? What is this? A large leather bound... Is there anything else in here? The book? Hey, book, are you gonna tell me what I need to do? To become reborn, you must first recognize your roots. The land that first held you. Okay. Secondly, you must bathe in the blue waters that quenched your thirst. What is this? Like, roots? Blue... Lastly, you must allow the essence of life to flow. Blood be bound. Okay, so I gotta mix shit in that bowl. Like this, maybe? The roots, blue, blood. Roots, blue, bl blood. Um. Radio. Sure thing. Why is there goo behind the cupboard now? I Seeping black liquid. I wasn't going to touch it with my bare hands. Oh, where's it coming from? Oh. Okay. Moving the cupboard revealed a huge fleshy wound in the wall. I could hear crying from within. Um. I guess I'm going to go in there. Or. What the oh, fuck? Oh, come on. Is that's, this? that's pretty gross. I don't. What is know. this? Like crawling through someone's intestines? Like, this is pretty weird. I like it. Gross. Where am I? Well, who's crying in here? Has someone been eaten? I'm here to help. I think. Doctor to save the day! <laughs> what the fuck? A dead end? And a giant spider behind me. What? Well, it's just two legs. Maybe it's... Oh, whatever that thing is, it's pretty... Pretty big. Fleshy webbing? Ew. There's no way I was tearing that thick organic mass by hand. I needed to think of something else. Webbed object? I wouldn't be able to get it out while the webbing was still there. Um, scalpel maybe? Oh, I broke my scalpel. It won't work. Shit. Uh, acid? Here you go. True. Alright, melt that shit. Go away, spider. Yeah, fuck you. Not down. Give me this toy. Oh, would you look at this? It was my this. daughter Freya's toy bear, Monty. The eye had long been lost. But there was something else there now. A red gem lodged in the eye socket. I made my way back out of the hole as quickly as I could. Alright, good. Out of the hole. Um. So, Freya loved the bear. Long after his fur had worn away and his eye had gone. What's with the crystal, though? What's with this bullet, too? The bullet had three teardrop shapes indentations in the side. What could they be for? Oh, do I stick these in the bullet? Why, though? Okay, true. Can I take the 
crystal. I was able to carefully remove the jewel without damaging the toy. Freya wouldn't have forgiven me if I hurt Monty. Yeah, dude, don't hurt Monty. Okay, so this goes in bullet. Right, I need one more of these. So, what the, that thing with the book said, it has to do with this marionette then. Okay, um, so blue is there, so clay bottle, that's old, your roots, then it said wash in blue, and then green liquid, okay, the liquid took on the appearance of blood. And strange to tell among that earthen lot. Are you talking to me, Marionette? Some could articulate while others not. You're really gonna rhyme at me? And suddenly one more impotent cry. Who is the potter? Pray, and who is the pot? Small iron key appeared in the bowl as the blood seeped away. That key, sweet. Another key. Down with that. Now I need to do something with this bullet. Hey, this guy's almost like fully grown back. What the hell? True organic mass. What does he say? No, I wasn't going to go near him. Hmm. Well, he's growing back. That is strange, right? Hey, okay, well, that thing gave me key. Go stick a key in the door. Got a key. Remove some chains. Alright, anything change over here? I may have a moment of your time. Who said. What the fuck is that? Good evening, good morning, whatever the time is. It means very little to me. Well, you're a oh dead man. God. What the fuck? Before we begin, can I check your name? What? Joshua Hegstrom, yes? Dr. Joshua Hegstrom? Who is this guy? Yeah? Excellent. Always good to start by knowing who you're talking to. Well, who are you then? Why are you just a skeleton? I suggest you ask some questions, young man. I suppose this must be quite shocking. Maybe I would have reacted the same once upon a time. I'm a bit long in the tooth now. <laughs> hey, he smiled. <laughs> Anyways, ask your questions. We must draw this to a conclusion. Who are you and what are you? I'm sure I did once have a name, but I must have forgotten it long ago. I don't need a name, to be honest. All I am is my role. Your role as what? Scribe, maybe? Historian? Some days I feel a little more than a glorified <laughs> pick dictaphone. That was a dict. I like how he smiles. What are you recording? Everything that I see? The story that I am privileged to be witnessing. Yes. Call me the witness. That will do. Kind of story. The best kind. Adventure, love, loss, struggle, triumph. A masterpiece. What the fuck is this guy? How are you alive? Your skin, your body, how are you alive? I don't know. That I am. I exist. That is enough. Are you sure about All that? All I need are my senses to observe, my mind to understand, and my hand to wield the pen. All else is just matter free to be lost you are just like a skeleton man like you have an arm to write things down with what is this place i suppose the best way to describe it is as a holding cell what no sorry i should rephrase that maybe an airlock what <laughs> i know probably a poor analogy maybe limbo purgatory but i should say not in a religious sense from what I have seen, there is no God. What? Not in popular sense, anyway. Well, this got some dark Eldridge tones all of a sudden. There is power, that is certain. Apologies, I'm rambling. Oh, you're kind of telling me, what the fuck is going on? Am I dead? <laughs> no, not at all. Well, not yet. Even so, life is temporary anyways, my friend. From the point of view of eternity, you may as well be dead. <laughs> True! That's that's a cool way of looking at it. What is that supposed to mean? Stop speaking in fucking riddles. Well, that is a fair point. 
I do rather like the sound of my own voice. I rarely get to use it nowadays. Hide and smile again? Who is the man on the table? Oh, the black, the black goo thing. Yeah, what is that? Oh, he have, he have what remains of the guts for garters, if I were to say his name. Don't smile at me. Needless to say, he is the reason that I'm here. And the reason you are here. He's watching you. Quite the privilege. What is he? Is he a demon? Oh! No, not at all. He's a man, just like you. Well, maybe not exactly like you. There is no one quite like him. Can you help me get out of here? Yes, of course. The destination, though, that is what you need to decide. What do you mean? I will lay it out for you, good doctor. You have always been a con conscientious man, diligent in all matters of work, have you not? I have. Following in the footsteps of your father, your brothers, you were the youngest to achieve your doctorate. How do you know all this? You chose those nights away from your wife, from your daughter, to follow your dream. I didn't choose. It is always a choice. I'm not trying to shame you, Doctor. You seek knowledge. You want to better yourself. And by your actions today, you've given yourself the opportunity to see things, places, events, that you would never have a chance otherwise. You can join us, see the unseen, rise up against the etheric bonds that shackle humanity, and break them. Or you can return to your family, to your profession, become a ripple in the ocean of time, lost in a heartbeat. And this is not without meaning, my friend. For every moment of the cosmic that you witness with us, you will miss a moment just as vital from your soul with your wife, your daughter. I... I had a family once too. I was a grandfather. I suggest you take some time to decide. Come back to me when you are certain of your answer. I will be waiting. Damn! Certain of my answer? Hmm. So I guess this chain, if I open this door, it's gonna make me some kind of monster again? Or I, so I choose family or I choose to become knowledgeable of the cosmic abyss? This thing's watching me. But nothing's changed. I guess I gotta just choose. I gotta choose which ending this man wants to live. Well, if he went through all this crap already, I'm gonna assume... He's already abandoned his family to learn. He would abandon his family here for cosmic knowledge. 100%. This guy's a dick. So, you're ready. What's your decision? Knowledge or love? I choose oh, shit. knowledge. Here we go again. The curious, twisted man nodded, his mouth firm. So be it. It took the key. It weighed heavily in my hand. Alright, I knew it. So instead of getting the other thing for the bullet, I got the key to open the door to the cosmos. Alright, I'm going in, Captain. We're going into the cosmic abyss. This is what this man wants to do. Let's go. Nothing could have prepared me for the sight that lay beyond. Let me see. Let me see some craziness. What the? Okay, that's pretty awesome. He's out in the cosmic abyss. What the? Is it a giant eyeball on the sky? Please tell me it is. This music's really cool. What is that? Oh my god! Is it a living being? The City of Pillars, Dr. Hagstrom. My home. And one day, I will return. Huh? Very cool pixel art, I gotta say. Thank you for playing Teeth of Glass by Beyond Booleans. a cool company name. Beyond Booleans. This is not the end. For more doses of the uncanny, please check out his other games. I don't think I've played any of these guys' games. I guess I'm gonna have to. Carnival, Obsession, The Tragic Loss. 
Well, damn, very cool. I enjoyed this game thoroughly. I always leave the games in the description. Give this one a download, give it a play. Try the other endings, maybe the, the love endings better and not as uh, weird and creepy, who knows? But always support the small teams, the small developers. Go give them some love, this was great. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and a comment and subscribe for more. It really helps out with the origin YouTube algorithm. And of course, thanks for watching. As always, Bobby Wan here, and peace out. Move the master of the dark. White tea legend leaves his mark in the realm of horror. Seek prevails. No fear of the story of a veil. Yeah. Is in control. Deep as tremble as he takes his toll. So if it's up, yeah, he stands tall. Move the villain.